Now I'm going to show you how to do Kegel exercises. So basically you want to start by lying on your back, hands flat on the floor, make sure that your back is touching the floor as well. You see some videos are doing like this. Those are not Kegel exercises. Those are more working your glutes. Now we're not trying to work your glutes. We're trying to work your pelvic floor. So hands flat on the floor, back flat on the floor, knees here, pointed upwards like this and then this bit you want to bring inside your body so the muscles that are used for erection you want to bring this inwards so what you want to do is pull without pulling your abdominal muscles or your bladder or pulling your chest inwards try to focus on this bit and just pull it inwards hold that for five seconds you can help by counting to five one, two, three, four, five, and then release. Now you want to do the same for your anal muscles. So remember your anal muscles control your bowel movement. And remember we spoke about fecal incontinence or fecal leakage. So what you want to do is you want to tighten your anal muscles by squeezing your rectum. Again, you count to five. One, two, three, four, five, and then release. So look again, look at my movement when I was holding my bow. You can already see my muscles squeezing and you can see what happened when I release. So that's how you tighten your bowel muscles. So you want to do this for 10 times and do at least three to five sets a day. So that will strengthen your floor muscles lying on your back. Now you want to lie on your side. And basically you've got a pillow, which you put between your legs Make sure that your legs are separated together and then you want to squeeze your legs together. Again, you count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Then release. And then you repeat again. One, two, three, four, five. And then release. So again, you want to repeat this 10 times and do three to five sets. Pelvic floor exercises is something you can do in any environment in everyday life. You can do it at home, you can do it in your office, you can do it while going for a walk in the park. So for example, if you've got room in your office, you can actually sit on the floor. You know, you can even cross your legs like this and then you can just pull your penis in and your testicles in. Hold for five seconds. You don't have to count once you're, you know, an expert. And then you release. And then you do the same for your bowel. Again, you squeeze your rectum together or your rectal muscles together. You silently count. And then you release. You know, do that 10 times a day, three to five sets. Or you could do that standing. Again, squeeze your pinal muscles together. You count to five and then you release. Do the same with your rectal muscles. You count to five, you then you release. Do that 10 times, three to five sets. So I do hope you found my video on Kegel exercises for men useful. It helps with bladder, bowel and prostate problems. If you have premature ejaculation, if you have erectile dysfunction, Kegel exercises are for you. It is a natural approach, you know, to sorting out your sexual problems. Instead of going for medication or rushing for tablets like Viagra, Cialis, or for premature ejaculation medication like Dapoxetine, also known as Prodigy, I've got all these mentioned in my video where I talk about the pros and cons, the best erectile dysfunction pills to use for erection dysfunction, the most effective treatment to use for premature ejaculation. However, I also cover the natural aspects such as herbal remedies, we're talking about ashwagandha, maca roots, you know, as well as exercise, you know, managing diabetes, blood pressure, obesity, supplements like L-arginine. These are all covered in my videos, including talking about Kegel exercises, why it is important to keep your pelvic floor strengthened. So if you like this video, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe.